All right, this time we're gonna do is set up our Xbox 360 controller to work with our Linux machine, and from there we can play emulators or any other games that you want to map to, um, you know, your controller, and then you can play it that way. So first thing you want to do is install the Xbox drivers, and all you gotta do is search for Xbox DRV in your package manager. So if you're using AppGet or Aptitude or uh, Yum or Pacman, uh, should be in your repositories, right? It's just called Xbox DRV. Install that sucker for your Xbox uh, controller drivers here. Next thing, this one is really not a requirement, but I will say it is because um, you want to uninstall this package. So if it's installed, you want to uninstall it because it will actually interfere with your your uh, gamepad. Uh, more specifically, the um, what was that the the joystick. Because uh, by default, the joystick, if you have this installed, it will actually move your cursor. And you don't want to do that in certain emulators or games because it might interfere with the games. Or it might crash the game um, like it did with my uh, N64 emulator. It will just do some crazy stuff. So uninstall this package, all right? And you will not have any mouse movement when you're using your joystick. Next thing is when to disable XPad. And the reason why we want to disable XPad is because XPad is a generic kind of input kind of thing. So if we didn't have Xbox DRV already, we would probably be using XPad. But since we are already installed these drivers, right, we don't want another um, similar services running. So that's what we're doing is uh, disabling this. So all you got to do is go into your terminal and bust this thing out. And we're going to blacklist it. So right now I'm using Vim, but you can use Nano, you can use Gedit, Kate, um, Leafpad, whatever the fuck you use for text editor. But go in there and type in blacklist XPad, and that is it. You save this sucker, right? You save that sucker, uh, and that's how you blacklist that one from booting up. And the next part is the important part. This one here is uh, your configurations for your controllers. So if you have the uh, was it the the dongle for the computer, um, by default they support up to four um, controllers max. So that's why I set up to four controllers here, right? So all you gotta do is just copy this part here, all the way to down here. Uh, copy that and then paste it into you know this configuration here, right? And then save it. Now another thing I have to mention is that. Um, Right now, I set the dead zone to 4,000, but the highest I went, it was, what was that? I think 12,000, and the, the dead zones are mainly for, uh, what was that, your analog stick, so your joystick, is that sometimes it doesn't sh register, so like, for example, I think I played with Street Fighter on the SNES emulators, and the joystick, I was playing with the joystick, and it, it didn't really register when I'm doing like the Hadoukens or whatever. So I increase it to 12,000 and it actually makes it more playable. So change that number around if you are going to, uh, you know, use the analog stick to uh, play your games, uh, depending if it registers or not. All right. That's it for that, really, um, for that configurations. And the next thing is we don't want to make this uh, enable by default on boot up. So all I got to do is type in, um, you know, uh, on system D, you do sudo systemctl enable Xbox services here, and that's it. It'll actually do the link and everything. And this one, if you want to start it up, right, start this sucker up. Uh, after you have it all set up, I would actually recommend you restart your computer just so everything would uh, be fine once you boot up and everything, right? So restart your computer after you do all these steps here. Uh, anything else? Um, that's mainly it. So let me show you. What is that? Uh, let's bust out our camera here. Right. So I have uh, four controllers. So one, two, three, four. Um, and you also need this for uh, the computer. Like I said, right. This is just a dongle. They call it a receiver or something like that. Uh, you need to buy one of those. I think it's like ten bucks online. Just make sure you. Well, I think that the knockoff ones uh, works too. So just make sure you read the reviews and see what people say about it before you buy it. But it should be like around 10 bucks max. Uh, so that's it for that. 
And as far as the controllers, in the beginning I bought one of these where it says, um, what was that, the uh, Xbox 360 controller for PC or for Windows or something like that. I thought you needed a special controller, but that's not the case. Uh, you can actually buy any of these other controllers from um, the Xbox console, right? You know, the original Xbox 360 uh, controllers or whatever. Uh, you can use any of those, that's fine too. So these ones are the ones I bought um, off of Craigslist uh, for a couple bucks. And it works fine. The only thing that you need is, you know, this thing, the dongle for your computer. And it should work fine. Uh, this is not Bluetooth. This is like a infrared, I believe. But definitely not Bluetooth, so it's really easy to connect to this. Anyways, after you have it all set up and reboot and everything, um, I think I, I listed the hardware here, right? Even though it's, you know, I put this as the hardware requirements, this is the only one I tested on, right? So the Xbox 360 controls, like I said, and the game receiver, uh, which supports up to four controllers. And that was my reason for getting four, but I found out that uh, the emulators does not support up to four players. They will have like inputs for four players, but once you actually play the goddamn games, it does not work with four players on some of these emulators. I haven't found an emulator that does four players. So that's my bad on that. But anyways, it does support with four players if you have an emulator that actually supports up to four players. So that being said, um, what else do you need to do here? Oh yeah, as far as uh, turning this on, pretty easy. It doesn't matter which controller you have, right? All you gotta do is press the button here and it'll glow and it'll give you, you know, whatever the first controller is on, it'll be the first uh, person. So let me, I don't know if you can see this here. Right, so they had like one, two, three, and four. So this one is player one here. Now if I do this one for uh, this one over here, hold this button, this one should give me two. Right, that's two right there. And this one, let's do this one here and let's do this one over here too. So again, this is three, the lights there, and this one is uh, four. Right, so four players. Uh, since we already have our configuration set up, so that's why it automatically detects which controller is first and all that. Uh, as far as turning it off, there is no off button. I mean, you can move, uh, remove the battery pack and everything, it will turn it off. But on idle, like after five or ten minutes, it will automatically shut off. And that's the only way I, I, I do it. I just leave it alone for five minutes uh, and it will automatically turn off. So that's just how I do it. Anyways, uh, let's get this to work with uh, emulator and test it out uh, just to show you that it actually does work. So let's bust out my um, SNES emulator here and we're going to play this sucker. So let's, what is that? open up a, the game that I really want to play with four players is uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters, which is a, uh, a pro wrestling game, kind of. But yeah, this one, that was my dream back in the, the 90s. It was to play this game with four players. Because I had a, a bunch of people like watching you when you're playing. But, you know, you can only play like two players uh, at a time. That was really annoying. Um, see, it had like a battle, battle royal mode. And you can do like four players. But again, uh, with this emulator... Uh, it, do, it did not work with the four players, so that's why I was really bummed. I really wanted to have four players, but uh, unfortunately, the emulator does not support it. Even though the game supports it, and I set up all my controllers to do four players, uh, and then I found out it did not work. So this fucked up, but uh, what are you going to do? Um, so let me show you that it does work. I am, was that, player one? This guy's Biff here. Come on. And we're fighting Stinger, I think. AKA, I call him uh, Ray Mysterio Jr. Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, let's turn that off here. 
Right. I did try to use it with uh, the chat pad. Unfortunately, it does not work with the wireless one. I heard that some people have got this to work with um, the USB version of this. But again, I don't have the USB to try it. And I, I don't like USB. I like I like it wireless because um, I like the idea that I can just, um, you know, uh, use my rechargeable batteries. And that's fine with me. And I, I can use it real quick. Just replace it and swap it out, swap it in if I need to, you know, get a new uh, charge on it without doing the charging that they come with the memory pack and all that. Uh, so that's mainly how you will set it up with your Xbox controllers. And like I said, you need the controllers. It can be the one from the you know Xbox uh, console, or it can be the one that you buy online with the what it says like with PC or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I thought it did, but it didn't. And definitely you need the dongle. Like I said, uh, I got this one for even though it says five ninety nine here. I haggled with a guy and it was like uh, five bucks. But online it's like uh, 10 bucks, so up to you. Anyways, that's how you get it to work with your Xbox uh, controllers on your Linux machine. Uh, that'll be it for this one. Enjoy your gaming.